Hey, welcome back to the California Gardener. But I'm in BC now, West Coast. This is my greenhouse I built. Just out of some timbers that I had lying around from the concrete work that we did. And I thought today I'll give you a little update on the pipe strawberries. Since a lot of people seem to be interested in making these pipes to see how I did it. So just used some white PVC pipe. I think this is the four inch one. Drilled holes with a circular saw bit and uh, filled it with dirt and planted strawberry plants. So it's already been growing for a couple of years and some of them over the winter died. So I pulled out some of my plants that had died on this side and planted new ones that I just pulled out of the ground that were growing out of my planter over there. And so I thought I'd show you since it's only been about a couple weeks and I wasn't sure how they would do since I basically just ripped them out of the ground and they were bare root. I pulled the old plants out of the pipe and put the new ones in the pipe over here. And I'll show you first like one of the old plants uh, looks like. So this, this is one of the old ones, okay. So this piddly old thing, they seem to like do worse over time. So really after a couple of years, you should probably pull them all out and start over. But these guys that were still alive, I'll leave them for their last season uh, because I really noticed like how much better off you are putting in new plants that grew from runners the previous year. So plants that grew in your garden from runners, you just pull them out and put them back in the pipe. Okay, so let's show you. This is a plant that I pulled out of the ground, stuck in the pipe a couple weeks ago, and look at it blooming. An even more impressive one as we go down the line is over here. To check this one out. So this is a bigger plant I pulled out because I was doing some work on the garden. I wasn't sure if it would survive. Look at that one. I just pulled it out and popped it right in here. Look at the big strawberries that's growing on it. Look at that. It's a big plant compared to the ones that are in here for a couple of years. This little piddly thing. Here's another one that I transplanted in. Look at this beautiful plant growing here. And down the line, another beautiful one I transplanted. All my transplants survived. Here's another one I transplanted and here's the old ones. The last three are the old ones. They're doing okay too. And if we go over to the other side, these are my older plants. So you see how they get all packed in there. They keep growing and eventually they kind of outdo themselves and I don't think the berries will grow that big. We've got lots of berries on this one, but I think they're gonna be small. See all the plants, I think they kind of get root bound in the pipe. They grow so much out of one stalk. And then you start getting these little peasley old plants. Down here at the end, I had a couple that I transplanted out. I'll show you. Old plant, new plant. Look how much bigger and happier and healthier that one looks. And these plants, if you have strawberry plants that can grow runners, like it's, it's very easy to make these runner plants. No big deal. You just stick a runner in the soil and then you pull it out next spring, put it in your pipe and it grows like crazy. Look at this old one, new one. Look how big this plant is compared besides that old plant. Here's one that's been in the pipe for over two years. Here's one for two weeks. Look at that. I guess it pays to plant probably every one to two years, put new strawberry plants in your pipe because they get root bound or they just get old. They don't grow as good. They start producing less. Well, this will probably be the last season for these little guys. And they'll replace them with ones like this. And check out the potted strawberries. Potted strawberries. 